freeze drifter so we meet again though i bet you don't remember who dragged you out of the water my name is olga by the way was it you fighting the master of the forest awesome our hunters had been staying away from him for years damn it sorry teacher the locks are all rusted up Your friend Alyosha is already at the dam. He said your cardinal won't wait, so you don't have much time. Sorry, I can't take you there. At today's consul session, the pirates moved to attack your train. But they had no right to even call one without me present. As usual, I need to go and sort this out. But I have a few minutes to give you some directions. You need a boat to get to the dam. And our pirates keep all the boats at their swamp camp. They are not the sharing kind, but that's no reason to attack. Nobody wants bloodshed, so just stay out of their sight. Take the road to the barricade. Go down to the swamp and find the dock. That's where Alosha and I took the boat from. Did you forgive me? There are some left, but be careful. Well, Drifter, take care. And don't make me sorry I helped you people. Tell Alyosha I said hi. I'll stay a bit longer to tend to the grave of the teacher. The bastard wants a boat! Take him down! We count to five! <laughs> One! Hey, is this Ooh. what you were doing? <laughs> Where are you scum? What the hell? I don't know how to count! <laughs> Cover me, guys! Reload! Fight! I'll get you! The one of our guys is down! <laughs> Ah! Ah! 
I see her! He's dead! Guys! One of us is dead! Intruder! The drifter thinks he can hide from us. Let's prove it.
your tongue so you can't knock on the door anymore eh as the teacher said courtesy distinguishes us from bandits and other animals wait a moment you're not one of ours a bandit then don't look like one though you never know with them bandits different shit every day am i right or what senya you're always right, Admiral, sir. Uh, put a sock in it. Your nose is broad enough. Where was I? Ah, the bandit. Well, you're here. Which means that all those spineless worms and wannabe pirates are all dead. Am I right? Don't bother answering. Everyone knows I'm right. And good riddance, I say. Perhaps we should offer him our hospitality, Admiral, sir. He is a guest, even though he's a bandit. Ah, that's an idea. Take a seat, bandit. Let's have some tea. I bet you never tried anything quite like it. I gathered, dried, and brewed it myself. Can't get any help from this worthless lot. At least, they don't eat much. Hey, boys! Trying our best, Admiral, sir. Ah, uh, quit your yap. Make the worst bracket in the damn aquas in heat. No respect for our guest, either. He can't get a word in edgewise. Don't mind them. To our meeting. That's a good tea. The fussy, ground-loving rats don't drink it, though. Radiation! Radiation! Radiation, my ass. Radiation. Just look at us. Dangerous. We're all healthy as can be. <laughs> Thanks for coming here. See how happy my boys are? We don't really have anyone to talk to here anymore. They all left We're the all coward. forgotten here. Even Roman forgot about us. Yet he was here with us when we built this base. All the boys remember that, don't you now? Yes, he was here! I remember. We all remember. That's right, boys. You all remember. But that bastard just forgot! And the other ground-loving rats, too! They all forgot. We're protecting them all with our lives here. At first, they were so happy. They shouted, We'll kill all the bandits! The pioneers are cowards! The teacher is wrong! We're better off attacking! Didn't they, boys? Yeah, they did! They shouted their throats sore! Yeah, louder than those bandits <sighs> we shot! 
There you have it. My boys do remember. And those don't. You could always count on them when you wanted someone to shout and call pioneers names. Aye, but when the going got tough and the Aquas started attacking in their hundreds, they changed their tune. Oh, radiation! Oh, it's dangerous! Oh, the girls say teacher told them to tell us that we have to get out! Well, fighting the Aquas ain't as fun as hanging bandits from the posts. You can rob the bandits when you kill them, but mutants don't have much worth taking. So who cares if they're about to eat the whole valley, right? Pathetic rats. That's who rats. they are. Ground-loving rats. A bit late to start listening to the teacher, too. Though, those rats don't care whom they listen to. Be it teacher, or the girls. If doing so gives them an excuse for chickening out. So, they all left. The cowards. Just a rat like the rest of them. After all, rats running from a ship. Once again, we are going to stay here and protect Loading them track all. is being repaired. I sent two guys world. to look for Anna's medicine. Come here, found its name. It was an experiment.
Come get some! Artyom? Damn, you're alive! I'm so glad to see you. And I just managed to get in contact with the Aurora. They are worried. And I get that. This place isn't as simple as it first seemed. Come, I'll show you. Let's go, Artyom. Hear the counter react? There's a hell of a lot of radioactive sediment behind that concrete. And soon, it'll bring an end to this valley. Because the dam barely holds. Use your binoculars if you don't believe me. We can't stay here. Nobody can, really. Ah, well, see that zipline? Those kids built it, back when there wasn't as much seepage. That's where we need to go. The old man said the Aurora will soon be on the dam. We gotta hurry. I think something's wrong at the Aurora. It seems that Anna is not doing too good. We'll know more soon. Come on, Artyom! Damn, that is a lot of dirt! Olga, an instructor. Everyone respects her. Plus, she's pretty understanding. Believe me when I said we're not enemies. She was the one who let me go from their camp. Love at first sight. I kept telling you people about my animal magnetism. So, here's your proof. <laughs> she was so smitten. She even walked with me. And, you know... This is something new for me. I hated to say goodbye. I asked her to come with us. So now I have this thought stuck in my head. I hope for the pursuit all You alive there? Huh? What the hell?
this beast. Well, Artyom, help me here. Let's restore this line's tension. We're done. Olga! I told you people. They just needed passage. Are you sure you're not coming? I'm sorry, Alyosha. I can't just up and leave like this. No matter how much I like you. In this case, I bid you farewell, my fair lady. Ah, to hell with it. Olga, I'll be back. I'll be waiting. Artyom, let's go! Olga! Remember what I told you! Get them out of the valley! There's death behind the dam! I just hope she convinces them! They are stubborn like... in bad shape. We must move. Time is short. Neither the air nor the drugs we found along the way are of any help now. The illness has progressed too far. Come! You know, when I found this photo of the Pacific Ocean, I just knew for some reason that we were going to go there in the end. All these rivers, mountains, deserts, they just won't do. It's ocean or bust. I believed we could make it. I did. get there. And if I need some help, you'll be there for me. You will save me again, won't you? <coughs> Artyom, please. Stop torturing yourself. It hurts to even look at you. You and Dad, too. It's not your dream, and not his belief in the occupying forces. It's just fate. A stupid piece of cloth in the wind. Rotten concrete. An idiotic ammo dump. <coughs> Artyom, you should go. I'll give her a shot. Let her sleep a bit. Come with me, Bratucha. There are things to discuss. Hey! Leave your work for the moment! Come to the bridge! Stepan, come to the bridge! All right, one moment! Tell me what happened, Nastya. Did someone bully you? No. Why are you crying, then? I'm afraid. Afraid? What of? <coughs> this, I have this scarf. Don't worry. What if it's like Aunt Anna's? Anna's strong. <laughs> Don't worry, Nastya. You didn't breathe any gas after all. Oh, Alyosha here. I'm online as promised. I hope you can hear me. Well, we have news. 
was dark, and it seems to be bad. We haven't had any other variety in a long time. So no Take a man. seat, Bratucha. Boy, this conversation is not gonna be simple, I think. Until today, we thought that this shot of Novosibirsk was a simple error. What's we wrong? With it. The legend says, Irradiated zones are highlighted in shades of green, while purple highlights indicate errors. Today, though, I found some small print. The thing is, radiation levels way outside of normal operational range of the scanner are also marked as errors. Simply put, the radiation there may well be completely off the scale. We're about 500 clicks from Novosibirsk, and the radiation wow. outside is the almost as high as back in there. Moscow. The shots are 20 years old. The radiation can't be quite as high now, but still, Novosibirsk is most probably. So, what do we do now? After. I'll tell you what we do. Artyom and I will go. This is not right. the other way. We go to no, now. sir. Not Please. She is my daughter. His wife. My paranoia about the occupation forces drove her into that damned bunker. And Artyom with his dream. He dragged us out of Moscow. So we too are to blame. Still, we are the Order. We are one crew and we should all act accordingly. We should all go. Discussion is closed. This is not an Order mission. It is a personal errand. Mine and Artyom's. We don't need any help. Second, we don't know the exact location of the medicine. It might be in the city center, or in one of the Akadem Gorodok labs. Solana's life might well end up in your hands, too. Third and last, wherever we might go, winter is coming. And getting the Aurora stuck in snow is what? That's something we can't allow. Do you remember what Yermak said? Uh, remind them, please. The Railway Technology Museum at the city outskirts. We'll almost certainly find a snowplow for the Aurora there. So, gentlemen, your missions are to search the Akadem Gorodot Labs and prepare Aurora for the winter. Crew, get ready for the mission. Also, we are starting constant radiation level monitoring outside. Effective immediately. Sam. You're first. Yes, sir. I think that lethal radiation levels there are actually good news for us. Uh, you mean there was nobody left to rob the drugstores and hospitals? <laughs> exactly. Unlike the towns we've been to. Colonel, sir. An update on the suits. Yes. What's the situation? I managed to assemble only two complete ones. You see? They're for Artyom and me. It's fate, that's what it is. Will they help? Well, they'll protect you from dust. But even the direct radiation there is so high, it could... Yes, sir. Can you add more protection? Sure, Yormak does have some lead sheets in store, but the suits are rather bulky and heavy as it is. We aren't exactly attending a dance party there. How much time will it give us? A couple of hours. Not enough, I think. Better than nothing. Don't worry. We'll make do. Always have. I'll add some net shielding to the car's cabin. Try to stay inside for as long as you can out there. Thanks. Get on it then. Yes, Colonel, sir. Still, I can't help worry. It's such a huge risk. So many good people died from radiation exposure in the Hansa's railway crews. But Moscow had nothing of the radiation levels they are going to face. Nah, these people don't really care about risks. You know them well enough. Hey, tell me about that museum. I... When did you learn about it? Ah, well, I was always a railroad fan. Even when working in the Metro. 
We had this experimental facility near Moscow where they, they tested all kinds of railway stuff. Lots of engines and cars ended up there, so they decided to make a museum. But only found a good spot in Novosibirsk. Wow! It's not that close, I'd say. Yes, not at all close. But they still got everything there, including the most curious engines from all over the country. And some 15 years before the war, the museum was opened. I see. But why are you so sure there's a snowplow there? I know it, because they transported it there from Moscow. Ha! Oh, it's a great specimen. You'll like it for sure. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm quite sure about that. Well, I guess I'll go. Tokarev might need some help here.